the father accused of killing his two-year-old daughter in Pembroke Pines. And today he appeared in Bond Court. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live with what happened during his first court appearance. Such a tragedy, this story is, Roy. Christine Janice, that suspect did not have much to say in court, but it's the state that described the details of this case as very graphic. As you mentioned, Christy, this was a tragedy that young child's life taken right here in this community, all at the hands of who police say was her own father. Mr. Duran, you are charged with one count of murder while engaged in a certain felony offense. 33-year-old Geronimo Duran faced a Broward County judge Thursday after Pembroke Pines police said he brutally killed his two-year-old daughter. Mr. Duran, you will be held. No bond. In the frantic 911 calls we obtained, you can hear who police say is Duran's grandmother urging dispatch to send an ambulance quickly. It's inside the home near Southwest 4th Court and 177th Avenue where police and fire rescue discovered the two-year-old toddler unconscious with injuries that included a gash to her neck. Immediately rushed the two-year-old victim to the hospital where despite all life-saving efforts, the two-year-old unfortunately was deceased. Police say Duran's grandmother arrived at the home and found him lying on top of his daughter. Uh, we believe she came home during the incident. Investigators said the grandmother then observed the defendant get up from the push-up position onto his knees, kneeling over the victim. The grandmother then stated that she saw the victim bleeding and ran to her room, and that the defendant stayed in the kitchen and did not make any comments, staying silent. Court records we obtained show Duran and his ex-wife, seen in this photo with their daughter, had just been through a custody battle. A judge ordering shared parental responsibility despite claims by the child's mother that Duran suffered from mental illness and had even been Baker acted at least five times. And we have also learned that the suspect's grandmother also called his stepfather. He actually arrived at that home and began administering CPR on that toddler. I did reach out to him today to try and learn more about what may have led up to all of this. However, uh, he declined to speak with us. As for the suspect, well, he remains behind bars now being held with no bond. For now in Pembroke Pines, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.